Hello everyone and welcome to the Sprocket tutorial part 7 and today I'm gonna show you how to make a side armor using turrets actually with this technique you can make anything you want not only side armor as long as you will understand the principle of it you will be able to design what you really will need by using turrets and maybe you have seen some models that are ultra detailed and you wonder how they made it most of it is made with blender there is a converter that gonna import your blender models into the game but i'm not gonna show you that today i will leave a link in the description so you can find the tutorial of the converter today we're gonna see only the in-game tools and we are of course back with our community fighting vehicle what you will need to do is to select a turret and make sure to place it on the hole and on the center of course. After that you will make it larger by moving the sides until it reaches the limits of the tank and then you will extend the face of the side and then go select the faces you don't need anymore and delete them. But before I continue, we just edit the tank to make it have tracks because it's much better with side armor. And now it's done. I will select all the faces and then move the object to where I want it. Pay attention to don't move the ring, but only the faces you selected. If you want to make your design smaller, don't forget that you can click on S after selecting all the faces, of course then move your mouse to make it smaller or bigger now that I have shoes in the place where I will start building my side armor I will select one face then extend it twice after that I select the points and organize them I personally always make 5 cm space between them so it can be easier for me but you can just put less than that if you want you can put one centimeter i'm gonna show you the difference at the end of the video after that i select the points in the middle and move them inside the design so i can create like a separation i always move them five centimeter but you can do it however you want when i finish with that I will select again the face, then extend it once, then move the face away and then extend it three times because I will need to move the third face away so I can keep extending. When you finish extending the faces, you go to the points and fix them again five centimeters between each other. I will speed up the process. And by the way, when it's hard for you to see, right, like right now, just change the paint color to something that can make it more clear. Now that I have finished with this floor, I will select the faces that I only need to extend on the top of the side armor. Then I extend them and move and put the faces where I need to. After you are done making all the details of your side armor, if you have some space between your tank and the armor, you still can fix it. Just select all the points of the faces, then move it to the side until you are satisfied of its position. And of course always pay attention to don't move the ring. After that you still can add also new faces at the bottom to add more beauty or to hide a bit your 
road wheels I select only those faces and not the faces that made the separation then I extend them I reduce their size and then I go select the inside edges and then I move them down when I'm done with that I select now the points I reduce the distance between them this way And now the shape is perfectly made, I can add the armor. And of course if your tank is too heavy after that, you still can reduce its weight as I showed you in the third part of the tutorials. And with all what you have seen today, I hope you understand the principle of it and how to do it. Of course this is my way of making side armor. The purpose of showing you is not to do exactly the same shape. This is just an example so people can learn how to use the turret to shape pretty anything they want, as I said earlier. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have questions, don't hesitate to ask. I would be glad to help you, as long as I will have time for it. And also I wanted to say that probably I will create a Discord server for the gaming community, not only for Sprocket, but for other games that maybe I will make videos about like Skyrim if I find a good idea to make a series of it and also Fallout 4 once the community is created I will share the link under every video's description and about Sprocket if you have an idea of what would be the part 8 of the tutorial series you can suggest me that in the comment section it's end of this video, see you guys for the next one.